Hi everyone, I'm Nikhil here. Welcome to Nikhil Tech. Now in this video, I'm going to do the review of this Microsoft Office 2007 Enterprise. Some people will wonder what is this Enterprise means. Enterprise is nothing but a type of Microsoft Office like professional and home. Now let's go this into this. The Microsoft Office Enterprise is having all these applications. First, we'll go into the Microsoft Office tools. In the tools, we have this cert digital certificate of VBA projects. Let's open it. It's a digital certificate creator. And here we have this Microsoft Clip Organizer. Clip Organizer is will organize all the clips, as you can see, all the photos that you have in your computer. And this is the Microsoft Office 2007 language settings. We can set the languages of this Microsoft Office according to our preferences. And this is Microsoft Office Diagnostics. As you can see, if you're having any problem, means we can uh, click continue to diagnose what problem did we have. And last but not least is this Microsoft Office Picture Manager. We can find in the pictures in this. Office Manager, Office Picture Manager. Let's go back. And we have this Microsoft Office Access 2007. Let's open it. This is the Microsoft Office Access. Here we have the Microsoft Office button. We can manage and we can create a new thing and we can open, we can save, we can save as, we can print, we can manage, we can email, we can publish, and we can close this database. And this is the Microsoft Office Excel. As you all know, the Excel is a very popular program. And Microsoft Office Groove. As you can see, the Microsoft Office Groove is a OneDrive-like thing. And now its name has been changed into this uh, SharePoint or something. It, it basically does saves all the things into internet and when we want it, we can view it that's the basic job of this group but before i have the office 2010 after some time i installed to office 2007 i faced a lot of issues with this group but i resolved all those issues let's continue let's exit okay this is the microsoft office infopath 2007 this is the infopath as you can see, we have this file edit, and these are all things that we know. And this is the Microsoft Office OneNote. OneNote is basically a note writing program. With this program, we can write the notes without clicking save, it saves automatically, and that's a cool feature in this. And if you want to learn more about this, we can see these are uh, books that's pre installed, and we can insert these pictures and other things to make it attractive now this is Microsoft Office Outlook 2007 Microsoft Outlook 2007 is basically a email client Just click S okay going to Microsoft Office PowerPoint as you can see, this is the Microsoft Office PowerPoint. This is also a famous program. And we have the classic Office button here. And we have this all new, open, save, save as, print, prepare, send, publish, and close. We can do these all things. Let's close it. Okay. And this is the Microsoft Office Publisher 2007. This publisher has a lot of options. As you can see, we can create blank page. Uh, in the blank page, we can create some more, something that we want. And we can create brochures, business cards, calendars, emails, flyers, greeting cards, import Word documents. We can import the Word documents, documents into this. Microsoft publisher. And labels, newsletters, postcards, websites. We can create these all things from uh, this Microsoft publisher. And last, and last but not least, is Microsoft Office Word 2007. This is also a very popular program. 
basically this program collects some things that we uh, typed wrong in it see um, if I click I small letter means I'll click a space means it, it adjusts into the big letter as you can see let's make it a little bigger oh, select 48 size let's click I small letter I small letter let's click space as you can see it's automatical characters there's the word and as I said I will talk about resolving this Microsoft Office grew 2007 issues to resolve those issues go to C click C and click you want to go to this you want to delete all the things that belongs for uh, Microsoft Office 2010 from here then your problem will be solved that's it for now guys I'll see you in my next video subscribe to Nikhil Tech to watch more videos like this click the like button if you like this video feel free to leave a comment and thanks for watching